Hey, it's me. I'm back again. So this video is going to be, as the title says, it's going to be a cosmetics haul, but not just any cosmetics haul. It's going to be a Korean cosmetics haul. So if you want to see what I purchased, keep watching. I like to use my channel to introduce to you some of the cosmetics that are coming from Korea and to show you how they work on those of us who are not of Asian descent or those of us who are not in Korea or Japan so you can't easily get it. So I want to introduce to you places that sell Korean cosmetics to those of you in the States as well as other places in the world and as well as continuously inform you on the newest cosmetics and the benefits of Korean and Japanese cosmetics. Today's cosmetics are going to be from a website called koreadepart.com. It's a company based in Busan, Korea, which is in the south of Korea, and they do ship worldwide. I want to tell you that this video is not sponsored in any way. I purchased these products with my own money. Um, I am an avid Korean products user, so I don't need to be sent products. I would just purchase it on my own. I bought different things from different stores, and um, these are all stores that I generally like to use products from. But if anything you see in this video today, you would like to see an individual review or and or demonstration, please do let me know down below, and I will make sure to do that for you. So I'm going to start off with this product from Etude House called Real Art. And Etude House does a good job of providing English alongside Korean instructions. So Korea is really famous for providing cleansing waters. What they are exactly is just a way for you to remove makeup or to cleanse your skin without having to wash your face afterwards. I've used it a couple times now and I use it primarily um, after I've already washed my face and everything so I can see what I haven't got it does really well in removing things that you thought you removed but you actually didn't remove or if I'm too lazy at night after a hard day of working I just use a makeup wipe and this remover and that's it the second product I want to talk about is this Tony Moly AC control toner and the AC means I believe it means acne control toner and the subtitle on here says sebum control toner. For those of you who don't know what sebum means, sebum is the cosmetic word, I believe, for oily skin. So I am an oily skin girl, so I tend to buy things that are for oily skin. And what I like about this toner is the packaging. It's super adorable, and I'm loving the pump on it. Those of you who watch my videos, you know I generally use a Clinique if I'm going to use an American toner. So I use a Clinique toner, but I also really do like... Tony Moly's toner. I've never tried this particular one, but I would I wanted to try it because um, it says sebum control and it says acne control as well. I don't suffer from acne, but why not prevent it by getting an acne control toner? Another thing I purchased is this C2O Original Pure Vitamin C 20 serum. Now that is a mouthful. You guys, listen. I'm really excited to try this one. I got this as a recommendation from my um, Korean male friends. And you know, the thing about Korean cosmetics is this is not just for women, men use the cosmetics as well. And he was so bragging and boasting about it and I thought, you know what, why not vitamin C? You know, give myself clearer, brighter, healthier looking skin. I'm always down for that. Since it is a concentrate, you do, you do need to refrigerate it. Sometimes Korean cosmetics, you do need to refrigerate them so that it can make the lifespan of the product last longer. And this is no different. But this will be a part of my nighttime routine. So if you want to see about this, because I'm really excited about this, let me know down below. Another thing that I purchased is this Holika Holika 24 hour eyebrow pencil. And it has the spoolie on one side. And the eyebrow pencil, crayon, whatever you want to call it on the other side. So I usually buy the Face Shop pencil. However, recently it's been discontinued in order to buy it online. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the pencil I was using. And sometimes it's a little bit of a hassle for me to get out to the Face Shop nearest where I live. So I wanted to try a different pencil. So I have been using this. I'm using it today. And it, it has a little bit more of a gray tint than what I thought it would have had. But... I like it, so I'll continue to use that. And then alongside, I bought this Seymour Brow Cara. What this is, is just an eyebrow tint. 
an eyebrow tint mascara or an eyebrow scara or an eyebrow cara. There's different names for it, but it just goes like this and it allows you to lighten your eyebrows. Because I have some some kind of color in my hair. I don't even know what this color is. Um since I have some, you know, lighter reddish blondish brown tint in my hair, I use this mascara over my eyebrows so it's not too dark and it lightens it up so it looks more natural on my face. Next thing is this Holika Holika Skin and Good Sarah All in One Master. Basically, it's just an essence, and if you have seen my um, All About Korean Cosmetic video that I filmed while I was in Korea, it's very good to have an essence in your skincare routine. Another thing I got is, basically, is this cleansing oil, pore clean cleansing oil from the face shop. For those of you who've watched my videos, you know that I really do like to use cleansing oils to remove my makeup. I feel that it is the best thing for my skin. And this is what it looks like and I really love the face shop and I really love the applicator on this oil. So I think it's going to come in handy. I have about three or four cleansing oils that I kind of use on the regular. So I'm pretty experienced with cleansing oils. If you have any questions about cleansing oils, go ahead and leave them down below as well. And staying on the lines of face shop, I got this green tea gel hand cream. It's just um, a hand lotion, but what I like about this is that it's not really a lotion, it's a gel cream. This is my second bottle of this. I used this when I was in Korea, and um, I never thought to bring some with me, but what I really like is that because of websites like Korea Depart, I'm able to get the products that I miss so much and use it again. So I just carry this in my purse and I use it to moisturize my hands. I tend to have dry hands, dry skin, so using a gel cream works really well for me. And then finally, I just got some face shop blotting papers, oil control film. Oily skin girls, you know we have to take care of our skin. We have to be prepared every day, all day. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know if you would like to see a review and demonstration on any of these products. And if you've tried any of these as well, go ahead and let me know down below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Janet. -bye.